This is step four in a sequence of presentations on how to use hyperlinks within PowerPoint. And in this series, what we're going to look at is taking the diagram that we produced in an earlier series and then linking from these to a separate page. So rather than you going through the presentation in a predetermined linear fashion, you could click on any of these uh, uh, boxes within the presentation and it would link you to a page with more information about it. So let's see how we can create that. So I'm in the editing mode. And I've got here my, my slide with my diagram on it. Now what I've done already is I've just created a, what I call a destination slide for each of those uh, six boxes. So I've just created a simple slide with a heading. It's worth doing it this way around because it'll become easier later on. You could then come in and you could add whatever information or images uh, you want later on. So back to my sort of diagram slide. I'm going to highlight my shape. I'm going to go to insert, hyperlink. And then on the left hand side, we're going to go to a place in this document. And what it will do is it will list the slides. Now the reason I suggested creating the destination slides first is by putting the titles in, it makes it very easy. So at the moment, I've highlighted the idea box. I just have to choose idea from the list and click on OK. Next one, plan, hyperlink, jump straight to plan. So it's very, very quick to create the hyperlinks. I've already created the other four as well, so I've now got my six links from my six slides pointing to the destination. So I'll have a quick look at how that works. So I'll go to here. Let's say I click on prepare. You'll see it jumps me to the prepare slide. Now what we need to do is we need to find a way of getting back from this slide to that diagram so we can click on the next thing. So I'll come out of the editing mode. And what I've got to do is I need to add in uh, some sort of back mechanism, a back button. So I'm going to go to insert and shapes and you could use any shape you like but there's actually um, a series of buttons. They're just appearing off the screen at the moment. Um, so I'm going to just use um, a rectangle. And I'm going to put it at the top of the screen. I could put it anywhere I like. Um, so I'm going to draw a shape and I'm going to add the, the, the text back. And I could format that however I liked, but for, for time I'll just leave it as it is. And all I need to do with that is, again, um, use the hyperlink symbol, place in this document, and choose the slide that I want it to link to, which is going to be the diagram slide. Click on OK. So once I've produced that once, and I've got it looking exactly how I want it, OK, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller, I can then copy that, so Control and C, and then all I need to do is go onto each of the slides, and paste. And what it will do is it will put them always in the same place. So it's very, very easy. So I've now put all of my um, back buttons in the same place. So if you run the slideshow now, I can click on prepare. It will take me to the slide on prepare where I'd have more information. Click on back. I come back to the diagram. I can click on plan etc. So I can move backwards and forwards. Now if this is a longer presentation what I need is some way of kind of coming out of this loop almost. So I'm now on this slide just going to add a forward button. So again insert shapes and um, I'm just going to use a little arrow. So I'm going to put a little arrow at the top there. It doesn't have to be very big, it can be quite discreet uh, and sometimes I'll even do it so it's invisible. So I know where it is on the screen but other people won't so that it doesn't sort of make it look particularly ugly. And again, slideshow, uh, sorry, insert, hyperlink. And I would then go to the next slide after my destination slides. OK, click on OK. What that means is once I've gone through uh, describing this diagram and I want to go on to the rest of the presentation, I would then be able to click on that and it would take me uh, onto the next part of it. So that's a very simple way of using hyperlinks within a presentation to stop the presentation being a purely linear process and making it so that you can have different orders of discussing things which can be um, more interesting it means that you can respond to student questions uh, etc